Luke Holman joins me here at Radlett. Luke, a month or two after what was a brilliant and outstanding breakthrough season for you, looking back on it, how much did you enjoy your summer? Yeah, it was great. It was um, certainly something I wasn't quite expecting for maybe three or four years ago. Um, but to play for the county I've always supported since I was a youngster and to surprise myself and do fairly well was um, was great, really. I, mean, I loved every minute of it. You did slightly better than slightly well. Uh, you made your debut at Lords. Uh, doesn't get much better than that as a professional cricketer. Yeah, um, it was a uh, dream come true, I must say, um, playing at Lords. Um, remember going down there when I was youngster, watching the first team when I was seven, eight, nine, and then to actually ten years, to eleven years later, to make my debut for Middlesex at Lords was quite special. Yeah, special stuff indeed. Well, some debut it was. You picked up the wickets of Delray. Rawlings and Ravi Bapara. Normally, you'd have had 28,000 fans screaming at you, uh, adoringly and cheering you on. All played behind closed doors, however, this year. How strange was that, and what did you make of it all? Yeah, it was certainly a different experience. Um, certainly, the added pressure of having a crowd there wasn't the case, but um, it certainly allowed me to settle in a bit easier for sure. Um, getting used to the standard intensity, for especially those two factors, but. Um, yeah, it'll be hopefully next year there'll be some the crowd and hopefully I play. But um, it'd be uh, yeah, it was I'd, I loved every minute of it and um, it was a shame obviously not to have family and friends there and um, which would have been really special. But hopefully going forward um, they might they might well they'll they'll be able to come in and have have a watch. They certainly will. Well, you played like someone who was clearly enjoying it. It's a massive milestone in a young cricketer's professional career to make their debut. You seem to take it all in your stride. Is that is that who you are? You seem pretty ice cool out there. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I, I certainly felt that most times quite the opposite. But um, yeah, I was just trying, just trying to take one thing at a time. Um, everyone who was out there, whether, whether I was batting or bowling, uh, Finney's captain or whoever I was batting with at the other end was really supportive, tried to calm me down, um, and hopefully that reflected. But um, yeah, it was, yeah, everyone was really supportive and um, can't fault everyone's support they showed me. Well, it was great to watch. You picked up nine wickets at just 18, uh, averaged over 35 with the bat, or slightly actually just under 35. Hung on to a couple of crucial catches. What was your standout moment, or wasn't there one? Was it just the overall experience? Um, I, th I just think that just the journey of how the campaign went, really. Um, it was certainly up and down with like, winning and losing and then we kind of went on some real excitement when we beat Kent in that close game down at Canterbury knowing that if, if we were to beat Sussex and win on the Sunday against Hampshire as well we, we could qualify for the quarterfinals um, obviously it wasn't to be but it was a great experience and I thoroughly enjoyed that whole campaign and just being in and around that and of course to when Joe Cracknell or Crackers when he made his debut at Lords and to walk out on the field with him um, was great really it was great especially growing up with him and um, yeah it was great how important is it I mean obviously you've you've laid down a marker now you've proved yourself in the T20 format of the game how important is it for you that you've been given the backing of someone of Stuart Laws ilk and the coaches that sit behind you yeah um, it is certainly fills me with confidence for sure um, knowing that they're, they're fully backing me and um, yeah, for sure, um, and of course, n not not just the first team senior staff as well, but with Rory and Laney down at the academy a few years ago, the support they showed me um, when I was growing up, and then when I was in the twos in the last couple of years, that the support they've showed me throughout, and, and then following on with Stu and Skeg and Coley and whoever's around the first team, the support they showed me has been consistent, and I can't thank them for everything they showed me. You mentioned Laney there, Mark Lane. I remember going up and filming some academy stuff about three years ago and I remember Laney pointing to you and going, Fletch, watch this kid, he hits the ball miles. And then I saw you bowl uh, and it kind of came as no surprise to me that here you are three years later out there performing at Lords. Um, is Blast your best format? It's Obviously you hit the ball a long way, um, you bowl well under pressure. Is Blast your preferred format or how do you sit across the others? Um, oh, for sure, I'm looking to play all three formats for sure. Um, it just happened to be I I did a well, I got picked in the blast team straight away and um happened to do okay so I th I just think just take things in my stride but for sure I'm looking to play all three formats and going forward for hopefully a decent career but um yeah.
all three formats and trying to play Red Bull cricket for sure. Stuff. Well, you mentioned Joe Cracklin earlier. Crack is the foundations of both his and your careers started back at North Middlesex uh, Cricket Club. They seem to be doing so much right at the moment. You've got Ethan also, who's recently come through their ranks. And we've got a couple of our current and past academy lads that are North Mid lads. What are they doing so well? What's the secret to North Mid? It seems like a hugely successful club. Yeah, it's 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 special. Well, it's really special for coming through there and playing for them whenever I do. Um, everyone's so supportive, um, which is obviously a recurring theme. Um, but um, I don't know. It's just it's very much a one club feel. Um, Whenever after a Saturday, there's first team players mixed with the five players, and you, you really build a bond, and um, which other clubs may not do, um, and it does certainly create a, like a bu bubble amongst us of not a real. You know that actually when when, when we do play at Lords, there's two three hundred people around the club, Colts or seniors or people around the club who are watching you and supporting you, and wanting you to do well, which is I can't fault really, and everyone from there. I'm, got a lot of time and time and uh, love for for sure good to hear you mentioned the importance of support to you i've spoken to your father a couple of times peter and he is always avidly watching you wherever you're playing i've seen you play a couple of times for the twos up here at radlett and he's been there he must be hugely proud on the rest of your family yeah yeah for sure um he's been a member since the 1980s in Middlesex, so it's for him to see follow up with the club's process of uh, club's progress sorry um going over the last few years and then for me to actually become a player on the staff is for him I, I'm sure he's quite proud but um, yeah he, he enjoys it, he loves it um, and no matter where it is, uh, how cold, how warm, whatever the weather you'll always be there, I know that so yeah can't complain. He certainly will. So that year is behind you now, um, you're into winter training, what are the challenges that lay ahead of you now and how are you preparing for next year? Yeah it's just just working on the physical side of things um, and once we get back into obviously the cricket stuff um, just looking to just see areas of my game which I can improve and just trying to nail them down before the start of next summer really and then knowing I can go into next summer confident and comfortable with what I've improved on this winter. Well Luke congratulations thanks for joining us a brilliant summer and uh, long may it continue for you all the best time. Cheers James thank you.